What is up, everybody? My name is Leslie, and today I'm going to share with you all about One Georgia. One Georgia is a rural urban agriculture program within Georgia 4 H. So, for the first two farms that we went to, the Red Oak Lavender Farm and the Holly Hill Tree Farm, I actually don't have any footage, but I do have some pictures, so I will put those up now. The very first farm we went to was the Red Oak Lavender Farm, located in Dahlonega, Georgia. This was honestly one of my favorite farms we visited. It smelled so nice. There were rows and rows of lavender, and we actually got to taste um, lavender ice cream which I've never gotten to try lavender ice cream. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Um, but a really cool fact about lavender is there are more than 45 species in the United States. And those 45 species species are broken up into 450 different varieties. The next farm that we went to was the Holly Hill Tree Farm, also located in Dahlonega, Georgia. They have so many different types of Christmas trees. They grow so many trees. It was so cool. We walked, when we were walking through and looking at all of the, the, the trees, it felt like you were in like this whimsical forest. It was, it was really cool. And a fun fact about Christmas trees is currently the most common Christmas tree to grow in Georgia is the Murray Cypress, which is really cool. Next up is RNA Orchards, located in Ella J, Georgia. This was a really neat trip because we went on a tractor ride through the orchard itself. They RNA Orchards grows a bunch of different fruits, like peaches and strawberries and apples. And this is just some footage of their crops, which me personally, I loved driving through and getting to see where it all grows and just getting to see everything. Like, I think that was such a cool part, was just getting to see where your food comes from. The next place in LJ that we went to was LJ Mushrooms. This was honestly another one of my favorite farms. I did not know that mushrooms grew on these, like, logs, which honestly were so beautiful. I took so many pictures of the mushrooms, I loved it. It was it was it was just so so interesting to see. The next place that we went to was Mercier Orchard in Blue Ridge, Georgia, where we got to see how they make their apple pies. We got to see how they make and can their apple cider, and we also got to see how they make their apple fritters. Or not apple fritters. There were apple donuts, which were absolutely delicious. I could have honestly eaten a whole box of them. They were so good. Here's a little look around their store. It was such a cute store. They have so many things. <laughs> There's Mio. Um, here is where they fry their apple donuts. Which, again, absolutely amazing. So delicious. Next stop on our tour was Mountain Valley Farm Store, located in Ella J, Georgia. We were greeted with beautiful scenery, rambunctious goats, fluffy bunnies, and a sweet cow. The goats absolutely stole the show and had all of us laughing at their antics. Do it. Do it. Win. You own that rock. Don't let him control you. Oh. No. Don't let him give him that rock. Push him off. Yeah. You got this. You are the ruler. I'm... Me personally, I We know who said Carolyn's on. Get him. No. You got to Get back up again. Yeah. Don't fall off on your own. That's too sad. Pitiful. While you enjoy these adorable animal videos, let me share with you how One Georgia impacted me. Growing up in a suburban community, I have been pretty removed from the agriculture that surrounds me in neighboring counties. One Georgia opened my eyes to the vast world of agriculture in Georgia. Seeing firsthand where my food comes from and the work needed to make sure Georgia families eat well gave me a true appreciation for farmers. It also inspired me to become more involved in my community's local gardens. What do you have there, man? Go grab, what? <laughs> hey, 
I was trying to say wheat, and then I said heat. Well, you got there eventually. And it's bro. hay. It's hay. Thank you so much. You didn't know what hay was earlier, so don't Stop don't come at me. Bit. I know what hay is. Do you, Kingston? Now. Now. Now, I do. now you do. Okay. So it's hay. It's hay. Are these okay. goats or wheat? <laughs> these are goats. Oh, they're fighting. <laughs> One of our most enjoyable stops was at Warbington Farms in Cumming, Georgia. Their expansive strawberry fields were so impressive. We got to pick strawberries, make jam, and go on a tractor ride, where we saw a friendly herd of cows. Fluent and moo. Fluent and moo. Fluent and moo. Me, my lactose intolerant. Fluent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we made strawberry jam. They're so good. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey, what have been doing the whole time? This is One Georgia Strawberry Jam class, and we're the best. This is the bestest of the best. Bestest district. We're in Northeast, though. Bestest. Bestest. The North Districts are the best. Woo! Yeah. North District! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Northwest! <laughs> In the next clip, we have a little musical moment performed by THE Kingston Riles singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's honestly my favorite clip in this whole video. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Alright, go now. A little lamb, little lamb, little lamb, Mary had a little lamb. Thank you, Kingston. <laughs> the giant slide was one of my favorite parts as it was very fun and a welcomed breeze on a stifling hot day. And that concludes session one. Now we are in session two and we are at the Georgia Farm Bureau in Macon, Georgia. While we were at the Georgia Farm Bureau, the activity that we participated in was a team building exercise where we had to make a speech about an issue in agriculture and how we would fix it. Now we are at the Super Sod Compost Facility in Fort Valley, Georgia. All of those rows of dirt that you see is all compost. And all those bags, also compost. We learned a lot about how composting helps the environment and how crucial it is to agriculture. As large tractors make multiple passes across the fields, planting and applying chemicals every spring across the fields and much of Georgia. <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> High Brighton Dairy was one of our last stops in the second session. We were able to go watch the cows go through their daily routine for milking. These cows are trained to enter into a roundabout, be milked, and then exit without much need for human assistance. They looked comfortable and well cared for, which is always reassuring when livestock is involved. I'm not entirely sure what me and Kingston are doing in this clip, but I love it. One Georgia is not all about education. It's also fun and games. In the evenings, we did team building exercises and had recreational activities to help us bond with one another and to make friendships that have proven to be some of my best. And last, but certainly not least, we ended our tour with the Fort Valley State Goat Research and Meat Technology Center, located in Fort Valley, Georgia. We learned how goat milk soap is made but if I'm being completely honest, my favorite part was feeding the baby goats. Thanks to One Georgia, this suburban Georgia girl fell in love with agriculture, especially the baby animals. Hey, look, dog. I think it's gone already. But look, I think it's look, empty. A little bit more. You get out the last bit. <laughs> look, look, right here. Uh -huh. Here, here, here. I mean, he didn't know. I don't trust y'all. Is that your friend, Mr. Riley? Yeah, he, but he don't trust us. He, he, got, he got that evil eye. That back here, for real, look at it. <laughs> when I go in this way, the other way I go in the other way. Have you hear me talking about you? I'm sorry, puppy. Oh, hey. Hey, girl. He might try to bite your camera. Hey, puppy. Are you okay? 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 Are you ok
Why do you have to move? Well, I think it's technically one. Yeah. Kind of like that. Oh, there is. Hey. Well, that's my other thing. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you so, Oh, hello. Y'all are so cute. I hope this video encourages you to apply for one, Georgia. These sessions were truly the highlight of my summer, and I'm so grateful that I got the opportunity to attend. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.